In this video we're going to install the dole leveler into our engine hoist to support our engine before putting in the car. So if you've been if you have been watching my videos you know that um, I took this engine out of the engine and transmission out of this car I rebuilt the whole engine took the transmission apart which is right there and now I have the clutch in here so I was going to put the clutch in but before one video before which was my last video actually um, I installed the coolant pipe which is this guy here the coolant line and that guy got right in the screw uh, in the boat that was uh, helping me to support the engine and not just that but the boat that was supporting the engine and that I used to support the engine to take out of the car was as thin like this which I don't trust very much so uh, I did a longer chain in order uh, to put this all the way down there and as you see here I couldn't go any further than this right so uh, I had another problem and that's why you think do I need a, a load leveler or an engine leveler so the question is when you put the engine in the car do you need your engine to be like flat like this or you need to be tilted like this right so if you're putting the transmission together usually you need a transmission to go lower because you don't want the transmission to go like this if the transmission is a real wheel drive the transmission usually goes like that and you need to go to dig to dive in the car like this so you need that thing and in my case i need to dive like sideways because the mount and all that stuff so i need the leveler to do like this transmission engine and then goes in the engine like this and then i'll level back and would work uh, so i bought this guy here and i'm gonna show you how it how it looks what it is and how this is going to work so nothing fancy it's just this here and the engine hoist is going to hold this uh, one side has this part here which is the part that we're going to twist to make it level or not and there's this little thing in there which is the handle and there's a nut we take the nut out of there put this bolt in here and put the bolt back in just to keep it in place and now our guy in there so first step done right no need to be tight or anything now the chain so you see here there's this hole and the chain goes either in or out doesn't matter and it goes straight like that right um, I don't want to go all the way because I want to use uh, the longer part of the chain to get further in my engine right so I'm gonna get like two four six seven seven is good and leave it here this should be enough this would not fall out of there but if you level and support the engine somehow this could happen right boom boom like this and you don't want that to happen if you are under the engine close to the engine and you know six seven so what i found is i i just need to put something here to support this to be sure this is not gonna move right this is not it doesn't need to be could be even a, a zip tie right but I don't quite trust my life on a zip tie so I'm gonna put a, a lock in one I don't know where my other lock is I had a couple so this is going to stop it is going to prevent this here from moving out and even if it does it's gonna move out one and that's it right this is not required, it's not in the instructions or anything, but 
you know, just looking at this, um, it feels a little safer to do that. So, do the same thing. One, two, three, four. So two, four, six, seven. There you go. And I need to put something in here. So I got this guy. And I'm gonna put this that boy right in there. Again, this is not gonna support the load. Uh, I'm just putting here so the, the chain gets tight and it won't go over the top. See, it won't go up. So even if my engine loses tension because it's supported somewhere, this won't go up, it won't move. So yeah, it's ready to put in our engine hoist. So let's do that. All right, so a couple of things before I proceed. I'm going to remove this one here. I need to untie from the bottom and I'm going to move it up. So, there you go. Gotta be careful so this doesn't keep my block. There you go. So basically that's it. And once once you crank this thing here, it's going to move a big long bolt that is in here and it's going to start leveling. See that's like this right now a little bit. And you go the other way, see it's right aligned to this paper here. Check it out. There you go, now it's in the middle of the paper. So anyway, this is middle. And now the only thing I need to do is find two spots. One on each side where I have a thick enough screw uh, bolt that is going to be able to support uh, the whole engine. And this is not gonna um, get any of those parts here and pull them because they all have gaskets. So I don't want that chain to pull on my engine here and screw this gasket. Or, you know, just, just chance. Yeah, you're gonna say, yeah, it's not gonna happen. Yeah, it's just, I don't want even to give it a chance to happen. Change of plans. So I had two bolts. One was the alternator, which is right there. Not sure if I'm gonna put the part of the video where I give up. And one was down here. And of course, bad idea. So, because when I tried to uh, prop the engine up, this thing here was pressuring this guy so I changed my mind I want to go from inside here and I'm going to remove this bolt here from the uh, uh, steering wheel pump and the steering wheel pump, the steering pump goes here but this is the bracket and this bolts into the engine is a fairly thick bolt and the other one goes right here on the back on the um, uh, this is the uh, transmission bolt. Of course, this is not the actual bolt. I'm gonna put something smaller. I just put this in here so I could see uh, if this is actually viable. But it needs to be tight because this, the way it is, is going to bend. So you see here, you can see this is free. This is free. I am going to put my towels in here those here oh. just to be sure they won't damage anything and this one here That's pretty much it yeah look at that Now you see this side is lifting more than that. So I'm gonna move this thing that way. Yeah, so 
And now it's going to go up straight. There you go. And is in here. Let me just uh, show you really quick. So you see here, it's not touching anywhere. And you see here, it's only touching the, the exhaust pipe. It's not even touching the water thing, which was my, uh, my goal. So the only thing is when I tilt the engine, so when I get this guy, let's do like, put you up there. So I hope you can tell here when, so this is here, this is the paper. Oh, where you can see. Right. This is the paper. And if, if you screw, the other way, this is putting the engine this way. It's gonna be way heavier when we put the transmission, but with this thing here, now I can just keep doing like this, and this is going to actually uh, tilt the engine a little bit. See, it's getting straight now. I just actually need to go back down and fix the chain to be sure. Yeah, look at that, now it's straight which means that this is unbalanced. I have too much chain in one side and less on the other one. Uh, I need to change a little bit because if you see this here, I will need to move this engine way this way and I'm almost at the end and now it's a straight. So this only means that my chain is not done correctly. That's all. So, yeah, so basically that's uh, uh, that's our engine situation. I guess uh, now I can go back and finish doing what I was doing, uh, which was installing the clutch and the transmission. But um, I mean, if you're curious how this load leveler worked, that's that's how it works. That's it. This is my new new engine leveler. It's worth the money, and I'm actually going to tell you if it's worth or not uh, when I'm installing this engine in the car. But um, yeah, that's it for this video. Um, we are going to use this baby here later. And if you didn't know what an engine load leveler was, there it is. And check out my next video. I'm going to install the uh, clutch, I have a stage 5 clutch uh, XTD and that's rock, see you in the next video.